Kevin, another significant win, 5 0. Uh, what's your assessment of our performance today? Well, I think uh, it was a good final game for the season. I think uh, obviously we got nothing to play for, but we got uh, in two weeks we got Madrid, so it was good for us to stay in the rhythm. Uh, nice game, I think, to end for, for David uh, because he deserves it. I think he deserves to, to go in a way where we perform really well, uh, where we yeah, play great and score a lot of goals. So, uh, yeah. That's now the third time this club has scored more than 100 Premier League goals in a season. Um, what, what is it about the way the manager sets us up that allows us to, to score so many goals? Well, obviously, his tactics are to play offensively. Uh, he tries to set us up to create a lot of chances and to come in front of goal. And uh, the more chances we create, the more chances we, we get to score. And then obviously, we've got a lot of people up front who can score a lot of goals. And um, yeah, uh, everything needs to be there. And I think uh, we, we try to perform uh, as good as possible. And on a personal level for you today, you've won the Playmaker Award for the second time in, in three seasons. But this time, you've equaled Owen Rees' record, which has stood for 17 years. So firstly, congratulations to, to you from everyone at the club. Uh, but secondly, the fact that Owen Rees' record has been around for so long shows you how hard that is. I mean, that must be a very nice achievement for you today. Well, it's obviously, obviously nice. You know, in, in my mind, I'm, I'm on 22, so uh, I've been, been stolen twice by the league, especially one away at Arsenal but in the end you know you, you get you get well, what they say and I think it's really nice especially because um, years ago in Germany and Belgium I played more up front now there's a lot of times uh, where I play even defensive midfielders so to to create that many opportunities is is good for me but obviously I only do half the job you know if, if the guys don't score them, I will not get this. So it's always, I, I know I, I will need my teammates for that and I'm very grateful that they, they, they were helping me and they were pushing me even today to, to get it. I think they were pushing more than me, than myself. So uh, that says uh, a lot about the, the mentality of the team. Were you conscious of it though? Because I felt in um, the Watford game and, and today that you, you were kind of chasing that record. Is it something that you, you really wanted? Well, I wanted it, but I, I don't feel like I did something different. You know, I think I, I always try to play more risky than other players. I try to create an, a lot of opportunities. Uh, and I just try to do what's in my mind if I think I can put somebody through. And it goes off, it's really well done, obviously. So it doesn't work always that way. Um, but uh, this is how my style has been for 12 years of professional football. So. Um, I don't think that will change maybe when I get older and I can't do the things anymore that I do now. But uh, yeah, I just like to create opportunities and that's it. And you mentioned David Silva there. Obviously, he's still got games left in him before, before he does leave. But this was his final Premier League game today. Can you just sum up what it's like to, to play with him? Because he's, he's glorious to watch. Well, I think... Um, you can only really appreciate what he does on a pitch when you play with him. Uh, obviously, fans, media, whoever, always has a perception about a player. But uh, I think as players, you, you, you can have a different perception and you, you see different things on the field. And to, to do what he did for the amount of time in here, for me, he's been one of the best players who ever played in the Premier League. Obviously, there's always debates about who or what. But to come from here, from Spain, in the style that he played, where maybe I think 10 years ago football in England was different. Um, he did amazing, won the lot. So, uh, yeah, it's, he's going to be a big miss. And for me, he was the perfect partner to play with because I think we we're very complement to each other and he helped me in that way. So, um, yeah, it's been great and hopefully we can give him a good sending off. But we'll be, we'll have to be at our best for for four games. And what about our goalkeeper, Golden Glove Award, 16 clean sheets? I mean, that's that's impressive as well, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's really impressive. Obviously, I think uh, in the five years I've been here, we always get a little bit of stick for our defense. But I think if you see the amount of goals we get against, is is not that bad, and uh, the amount of clean sheets also. We know we dropped some points, but. 
you can't have that many clean sheets without a good goalkeeper and a good defence. So um, it's props to, to everybody there. And one last one, Real Madrid now is obviously the big game. Um, there's a little bit of time between then. Cheeky mentioned today maybe a, a behind closed doors game, but you, is everybody focused and, and, and really prepared for that game, do you feel? Well, I think even even now with the games with nothing to play for, we, we just give it all. I think uh, now we can have a couple of days, a little bit rest, and then uh, it's about 10, ga 10 days of, of yeah full training and just prepare ourselves for, for the big game. We know if we do well, we got four games left. If we do really bad, then we have one game. So uh, let's try to get as far as possible and uh, try to have a nice Champions League to, to end the season. Absolutely. Thank you, Kevin. Thank Good you. Luck.